first 18 months, we've sent 48 jobs, that's four, eight pieces of work, out to other member firms. So um, on Nick's 20 a year, I think we're a little bit in credit. Um, and uh, <coughs> those projects have involved, we act for a um, global audio visual integration support provider who needed uh, contract local law advice uh, in Japan, South Korea, China, um, and Hong Kong, and is looking at opening offices in Dubai. Um, so we looked at getting all the relevant licenses in place for, for, for them to operate in, du in Dubai, which was quite a good fee income generator for the member firm, and also generated some fee income for ourselves in that we project managed the advice that was, that was being given. We act for an international solar panel uh, distribution company and needed advice on a review of terms and conditions in uh, Belgium, the Netherlands and uh, Germany. And they too were looking at op opening an office in South Africa. So uh, we introduced our client to our South African member firm there and then we took a step back and, and let them deal with them direct. We act for, um, this, this one's quite interesting. We act for a UK operator of a business. It's quite quirky and um, a German operator made the mistake of getting quoted in the German press for saying that they liked our client's business model so much they decided to copy it. Um, <laughs> so we needed to engage a German member firm to help us uh, negotiate a settlement for our client, getting them to cease and desist what they were doing and agree to make um, enough changes to their branding and the way that their outlets were styled to distinguish them from our, our client's business. We act for a, a UK subsidiary of a Japanese pharmaceutical company who needed uh, licensing advice in Malta, Swiss law, and is looking at opening offices in India. And uh, we act for a global uh, leader in uh, leisurewear and clothing who there was an allegation that their terms and conditions that they were using across Europe weren't necessarily fair from a competition law point of view so we needed French and German advice on um, consumer law, data protection, it involved cookies, things like that. Um, one more, we act for a um, household name uh, supplier of uh, electric, electric components uh, manufacture of electric components and um, we a uh, French member firm that came to visit us at our offices um, in Wokenham we used to help structure a um, quite complex cross-border supply agreement for a deal that's worth uh, it's multi-million pounds on an annual basis so obviously a lot of that work that you've given out that has led to some inbound work you want to Tell us a bit more about that. Obviously, the partners in my firm keep, keep looking for a return on the investment, and Alex and I were very much, very often saying, trust us, <laughs> it will come in time. Um, and uh, it has started flowing in now in the, in the second year. We've had, I think, 11 uh, opportunities so far to either quote for work or undertake work, ranging from um, terms and conditions, um, uh, dispute resolution work, uh, we undertook for a uh, French firm. We've given advice on uh, employment to an Australian firm. 